Community Technology Empowerment Project, or we call it CTEP for short, is an AmeriCorps program that's been run by SPNN for the past six years. Through CTEP, we place about 30 AmeriCorps members in existing organizations in the Twin Cities. Uh, most are nonprofits, libraries, community centers, museums. All of our members are teaching about technology literacy for social, civic, and economic empowerment. CTEP really exists to bridge the digital divide. The digital divide is the disparity between those who have access to computers and the internet and those who don't. Recently, the Pew Internet survey showed that 73% of Americans are connected to the internet. But when you break it down into demographics, only 59% of African Americans are connected compared to 79% of white Americans. When you look at the populations with disabilities, you find that only 38% are connected. Only 44% of those who have not graduated from high school are connected to the internet, while 91% of college graduates are connected. One of the things we heard repeatedly from nonprofit organizations was that they had computer labs, but they really didn't have anyone to run them, and they didn't have anyone to teach programming in them. So what was happening is these labs were either going unused, or they were being used kind of just for email and maybe some game playing after school. And what we thought is, gosh, you know, if we had some AmeriCorps members to help staff these various centers, Maybe we could really turn them into vibrant centers for technology and media use. And because of the commitment that Mike and his board made, we were able to get that program started in 2004. And now that program is entering its seventh year of operation. They've gotten three significant three-year federal grants and have done a world of good to help improve technology literacy and access in the Twin Cities. Since the fall of 2005, the St. Paul Public Library has been fortunate to be a partner of SPNN to help serve the many people in St. Paul who come to our libraries. People who have no digital literacy skills, who are searching for a job or a sense of hope that they can develop within the library setting some newfound skills. And with the help of CTEPs, uh, we are able to teach classes in our electronic classrooms to provide the assistance to um, many people who um, don't have computer access at home, who don't even maybe know how to hold a mouse. My name is Kate Thomas. I'm a CTEP AmeriCorps member at Neighborhood House on the west side of St. Paul. I teach computers and literacy to recent immigrants and refugees from other countries. And I also help individuals with workforce readiness, assisting them with resumes, cover letters, and online job search. Two of my students this year are Manuel and Maria Rivera. I started at Neighborhood House about two years ago. I got here with the purpose of improving my English. Then I moved to a GED classes, preparing myself to pass my GED test at the same time and taking the computer classes because I think that's very important. Me siento muy confortable ahora porque ya sé muchas cosas de, del internet que antes no sabía yo y, y ahora ya, ya sé entrar a, al, web, al website, ya sé mandar emails, ya sé este, recibir emails y me comunico con muchas personas de, de varias partes y me, me encanta la computer class y voy a seguir adelante. The success of CTEP can really be measured in the number of clients that our AmeriCorps members have served over a program year. Last year's program, our members served nearly 4,000 people, and of those 4,000, almost 300 people reported getting a job after working with a CTEP member. Another impact our program has is volunteer mobilization. Our 30 members mobilized nearly 400 volunteers over the last year, and those volunteers gave almost 10,000 hours to the organizations in which they were working. Their support of the AmeriCorps program, CTEP, which I started back in 2004, really helps SPNN branch out and be um, a really full-service community media station. Um, they're very, I think they're very progressive in that way. Thanks to SPNN and CTEP, we're able to assist the public in many ways. And to be able to say to the public in these tough times, when you come in our door, you come in the right door. 
We are here to help you.